your book came out two years ago? Two years ago, yes. It's been out two years now. Yeah, yep. really great resource. Um, I read through it pretty early on. A House Needs to Breathe, or Does It? But yeah, really great book. I think it's great for an HVAC technician because it's just a really good intro yeah. to so many of the things that we interact with yep. but don't know yep. much about. Yep. You know, yep. like, I mean, yeah, control layers, just thinking about where's the water going to yep. go, right? Yep. Like, just, just having a kind of zooming out and realizing where you are yep. within kind of the ecosystem of a house. Yep. And also, right. I mean, the first section of the book, I talk about what is it that people want out of a house? The, mm, the, the mm -hmm. title of that section is Start at the End. What is it that people want? They the want goal. comfort. Right. They want um, good health. They don't want them, the house to make them sick. They want low energy bills. They want the house not to fall apart and then rot um, when it shouldn't. So that's where you got to start. What, you know, what is it that people need out of a house and how do we get there? So we start with the building enclosure because the building enclosure comes first. Before mechanicals, you got to think about the building enclosure. And then I go into mecha uh, mechanicals and I got a lot of stuff in there on mechanicals. But going back to indoor environmental quality, which is start at the end, you know, yeah. all that stuff, the comfort and, and um, indoor air quality, that's part of indoor environmental quality. And on the comfort side, so one thing in the HVAC industry that's rampant, I think, that um, my friend Robert Bean from Calgary, Canada, has been working on for decades now, and, and I, I have joined the fight. Uh, Comfort is not a matter of simple, uh, simply thinking about the air temperature, the dry bulb temperature. Mm -hmm. You know, think people say, "Oh, 72 degrees is a comfortable temperature." Well, comfort has a lot other factors involved. You know, there's um, you know, dry bulb temperature, there's humidity, there's air movement, there's the mean radiant temperature. What's, what's the temperature of the surfaces around you? The air temperature can be fine, and you can still be uncomfortable. If you're next to a bonus room that has no insulation in the wall and it's 140 degrees on the other side of that wall and that drywall is now radiating heat at you. Even it's if like the, standing next to an oven, standing right? Standing next to an oven, yeah, or blast furnace, I yeah. call it. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the air temperature can be fine. You, it could even be 68 degrees in there, but you got that 110 degree wall radiating heat at you. You're not going to be comfortable. And I, I wrote it in an accessible way so people who are new on the building science learning curve can jump in here. Yes. There are some technical areas that, you know, the people who have more technical knowledge will appreciate more, but, you know, uh, home inspectors, real estate agents, uh, brand new techs might have a little difficulty with. But mostly it's pretty pretty straightforward, simple stuff, just talking about the, the fundamentals of building science yeah. and how to, how to apply yeah, it. Yeah, and 